What's up? Today we're going to be making this right here. You get the idea. Uh, this is going to be using <coughs> After Effects and uh, the plugin. What's it called? Sa Trap Code Sound Keys. I made a previous video that is without the uh, plugin, so <coughs> this is the one with the plugin. First step have After Effects. Step number two open it, make a new composition. Uh, call it whatever you want. This is 1080p. Change these to whatever. Import your logo or picture or whatever that you want to uh, have in the middle, like shaking. I mean, moving with the music. I'm just going to choose a random person's logo. Oh, this will work. I'll make one that goes with the song. Barely Alive. Okay, so once you get that, get the song. <coughs> Drag that in. And then layer new uh... what is it solid yeah it doesn't matter the color just make sure it's the same size as the composition you can just click that button if it's not and then right click on this go to effect trap code sound keys and it'll show up with this stuff and make the uh... audio layer the song and then you'll see the audio levels right there Let's see, after that, spectral adjustment, smoothness, that's pretty good. Uh, scale, bass, mid treble. Doesn't look like you should really change anything in that. Uh, range 1, this is what's going to control the, the picture right here, moving forward and backwards to the music. So you want to, let's see, which one is this? You want to go to spectral adjustment and set the mid to zero so you can see the bass. The mid and the treble, you don't need those. <coughs> and then you take the uh, this part right here and adjust it to the uh, song, like the, the audio levels, wherever you want. The bottom is wherever you want it to start reacting. Like inside this this square right here is where you will have your uh, <coughs> picture be, it'll like react in, it'll take the audio inside that square only. Anything else outside it, it won't, it won't cause any reaction or anything at all. So for the moving forward part, I'd say you want it to move forward to like almost all the way at the bottom. So anytime there's a noise that's bass, it's actually moving. So I'm just going to kind of put it right, that's the corner by the way right there. I'm going to put it at the corner like right there. And the top is about a hundred, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And then what's this? Don't need to change that one. This one, I'm gonna put it right there. It kind of snaps onto the edge, so once it's snapped on, make sure it's not there. It's like right here. <coughs> okay. And also make sure that box is checked, or else it won't be active and it won't do anything. So now that you're done with range 1, you can minimize that. Range 2 is going to control how much it shakes. So if you don't want it to be like vibrating or shaking with the bass, you can just not do this part. And to turn it on, click the check the active box. And I forgot something for range 1. I just remembered. Go to the output min maxing right here. 
change it to custom. Actually, no, you don't need to do that. Forget that part. If you'd already changed it to custom 0 and 100, change it back to that. Okay, so it's for this one actually. Change this to custom in range 2. Change it to custom. Change the max to 15, which is, I showed you the preview in the beginning, 15 is what the max was for that. So if you like that, the way that looked, then do that. If you, if you thought it was too much, then make this a lower number. If you thought it was too little, make it higher. Okay. And the minimum is 0, so, you know leave that. Spectral adjustment. This is the uh, second one. You can see it over here. The first one is right there. And I just moved it. Let me... So, don't pay attention to this first one. Pay attention to the second one, which is what you're adjusting. That is the top, so you want to set that to 100. This one is the bottom. This is going to be controlling how much it shakes, so I would kind of put it up higher, like something like like 765 or something like that. And then drag it over to the match where that one is right there. Wait, why did it just do that? This must be the edge right there, so yeah, okay. So put this one over on the side. It, once you go past, it doesn't matter. There's nothing else out there. Um, let's see. Put that right there, about the same. 655. If you if you don't get it the same as mine, you can just copy these numbers right here. <coughs> you don't have to get it exactly the same, I mean, but whatever. And that is it for range 2, I think. Custom. Yep, that's it. <clears throat> There's also a range 3 you could use for something else, but don't need that because there's nothing else. And you can just click the little eye right there, make it uh, invisible because you don't want to see this in front of it. Or maybe you do, I don't know. Your choice. And now we have to link that stuff to the position and the scale of the picture. So open up the uh, white solid, which is the sound keys layer. Go to effects, sound keys, range one, and have that open where output one is right there. That is where the keyframes are going to be when you click apply. They It like takes all the information you put in and turns it into keyframes. <clears throat> and it'll put it in output one, and inside range two there'll be output two. And that's what you're going to use to control stuff. So we also need the expressions. So let's see. This is the one that's going to control the shaking of the picture. That'll be in the description of the video, by the way. Put that in here. Control paste. Couldn't find layer name sound keys. Also, you're going to want to select the white solid, press enter, and call it sound keys, spelled like that with the capitals. Because apparently you need to name it that or else this expression won't work. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, I see it right here. Uh, it says the layer name right there is sound keys. So if your layer name isn't the same, it won't work. You could change, you can go in here and change it to whatever your layer name if it's the wrong name. But other than that, <clears throat> it'll work fine. Okay, so that's good. Now you can be done with the position. And as you can see, it is not linked <laughs> yet. Uh, let's see, what did I do with that? Position, output to, oh yeah, it, it is linked. It's just, it's being controlled by output to now, which is inside range two. So you actually don't even need to open this. You can close minus sound keys and only have this open because the expression automatically it already has all the information in it so you don't need to like have the thing open to uh, adjust it or whatever okay anyway go back to the video description and copy and paste the pulse expression looks like this 
and go to scale, alt click, control V, which is paste obviously, paste that in there, and that controls the size. You'll see that size change because it goes to the minimum size. And, uh, <clears throat> sorry, drinking some soda kind of got some burps coming out. Ma uh, what? No, min stretch and max stretch is uh, how small it will be and how big it will be. Like, the while the music is playing, it will go in between 90% and 120% scale. So it'll be getting bigger and smaller depending on the levels of the, the audio levels of the, the music. So if your picture is like too small or too big, you can change these to adjust it. Make it, uh, like if 120% scale makes it cover the entire screen for your picture, then you might want to make it way less or something. Anyway, so we're done with scale. And don't worry if you don't see anything happening when you drag the timeline around, because I haven't clicked apply yet. And if you want to save this for later to, uh, use later, I would do that now because everything is set up before anything is applied. This is just like without anything being applied. And uh, for later, if you want to put in a new song, you would just delete this one and then you'd go select sound, you'd put in your new song in this composition and select sound keys and just choose the song right here. Okay, but if you want to, you can save this right now. Because I would recommend that, or else you'll have the uh, keyframes in here when you save it. So, what you do to apply all the movement for this, you just click Apply. Make sure you have sound keys selected, too. And uh, over here in the top right corner is where you can see the progress. <coughs> Almost, almost, there we go. And now you can see it moves around. That's about it. Um, I got uh, another video coming up with particles, like how to kind of do the same thing with particles, use sound keys and not use sound keys. And also in the description of this video, there could possibly be a number you can use to uh, download the trial version of Trap Code Sound Keys and put in that number that's in the description, which might possibly be a serial number that will give it to you for free. Cough, cough. Uh, yep. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I'll do a little uh, RAM preview for you, so you can see what it looks like. Also, sorry if I just sound kind of like not energetic. I'm just not really excited. I mean, I'm making a tutorial. It's not that exciting. <laughs>